Hi everyone, we have this cheap mobile phone received from another shop with backlight problem. So the other technician said as soon as he connected the battery, I don't know what he was shaking, he saw smoke coming out of the phone and since then the phone is not uh, uh, displaying anymore. There is actually image but with no backlight. So just putting the PCB under my microscope, if you take a look at the diode in the backlight section, you will see that it's burned, right? so let's see it's not that common for the diode to burn this way so we are going to find uh, how we can find a solution to this and solve the fault i send my multimeter to continue test mode that the output that is going to the back backlight section you can see that's low reading right so there is supposed to be a very high reading there because it deals with a high amount of voltage i also check the other sections as you can see the reading is okay then I, if you take a look at the diode, you will see that it's actually burned, right? So we will see exactly how we can uh, solve this fault. Let me zoom in again. If you take a look clearly, you will see what happens right there. So what we decided to do first, that's the first thing that we have to do to replace the diode let's just say okay the diode got bad even though anyone who has been doing this knows how the diode function will know that there is something that actually caused the diode to burn so but first let's just say okay the diode is bad then replace the diode then see how everything goes so i remove a diode from another pcb well if you are watching my courses you can get them right now with a 50 percent discount make sure to send me a message using the number on the screen don't miss out because uh, the discount period is going to expire next month on the second so we replace that diode right and uh, yeah clean the piece we are like making everything clean just for you guys you get so yeah we test to see if replacing the diode solved the problem so as soon as I connected the battery, I saw smoke and uh, I want to feel like, yeah, something actually burned my hand there. If you look carefully, you'll see that there was smoke coming out also, which means that, yeah, the diode that I just put in, either it's bad or there is something else bad. So from there, I knew that there is a problem with this section. So I had to go on with uh, straight to the backlight driver. Let's just see, yeah, see how everything goes. I had to remove this so that I can do proper testing to see if the shot that we saw at first is still there. That was not a full shot, but a half shot, you know, right? So I removed the, the 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 driver and also I removed the coil. So this type of fault, if there is a possibility for you to just remove everything so that you can do a clean test, then it will be good. And that's what I did right there. I tested this capacitor. As you can see, that's a very bad reading right a very bad reading and also if you take a look at that resistor which is connected in parallel just beside the capacitor you will see that it seems like it's burned out so i just pull it out yeah it's connected in parallel connecting the positive to the negative and also i pull out this capacitor just like that and very smooth so pulling it out it, it shows that okay the other uh, ic that was there is okay so i try to test and yeah, the reading was okay after removing the the diode, after removing the capacitor and the resistor. I removed the resistor just to make sure everything is okay. It wasn't looking that great. So you saw the board, I had to swap the, the backlight driver with this coil, even though it's small, but it should work with the same inductor because I swapped them from, a, from the same board, right? So if you take a look, you will see I also removed that uh, diode that we first mount into the PCB, replaced it also. Again, just to make sure that everything should work well. So if you take a look, that's testing, that's a very good reading, both sides. That's a good reading. And the coil is passing through. I tested everything to make sure that everything is really normal in the section. So you can see the components that I replaced. So the resistor, like I said, it was connected in parallel. No need to replace that. 
even though it's important but it can work without the resistor also the capacitor that i removed can also work without it but if you want to replace you go on replace because they put it there for a reason so let's test the pcb and see how everything goes yeah and that's it everything working very smooth